Hey everybody, Jim Reviewer here today. And I know you guys really enjoyed the Rogue Fitness new product update. And I figured, why don't we give a little new product update on one of the biggest up and coming competitors for Rogue. And I think one of the only companies out there who has a chance to maybe even pass up one day the Goliath of Rogue Fitness. And before we get started, I want to say a big shout out to Rep Fitness because in the past year or two, they've really picked things up a notch over what they've done in the past. And an example of this is in their website. I think the no, the new Rep Fitness website is stellar. I think the effort and the the cleanliness, how smooth it, how everything is just so good, so perfect. You know, I think they're doing a really good job, and <clears throat> and I think it's a, it's a sign. It shows that they care about us. They care about the customer. They care about giving a good experience. So uh, way to go, Rep. Appreciate it. Without further ado, let's check out some of the new equipment. This is the Cambered Swiss Bar by Rep Fitness, and I think this is one of the more innovative products that a lot of companies have been coming out with recently. This is not unique to rep. A ton of companies are coming out with this, but this is the rep option because this is a new product video by Rep Fitness. One of the cool things to note is that rep has free shipping. I've spent thousands of dollars, thank God, on rep shipping over the years, and it's really cool to see that there's free shipping. Now, what does that mean for a product like this? Well, we can see that there's some nuts over here, some screws, and... My guess is that these sleeves come off and they pack tighter so that there's a smaller box, more compact box, making the real shipping cost cheaper for rep and making your product cheaper. If they didn't do that, this could be a well over 300 plus, 350 plus dollar product based off of my estimates and my guesses. More of guesses, not really estimates. Now, it's a cool product, okay? There's, It's very versatile. There's a lot you can do with it. Um, a lot of other companies are coming out with it. But, again, this is reps. And it's cool to see that they're bringing some variety into their lineup. And I think it's pretty clean. I like how they have these, how these aren't covered with black paint so they won't chip. And it looks like these are pretty fat handles. Let's see. Yeah, based off how these guys are gripping and so on. Let's see if we can see a spec sheet. 50 millimeter sleeves, 35 millimeter handles. Now, for all you folks out there, an Olympic size bar is 28 millimeter. A strongman or powerlifting bar is 29 millimeters. And an all around kind of bar like the Ohio bar is 28 and a half millimeters. So this is a thicker grip, you know, meaning it, it also cuts down probably, it makes the bar sturdier for a cheaper price potentially for rep. And the static rating, the max is 810 pounds. Uh, so it seems like a plenty good amount for most of us. And if you guys want, if you want to really get into the details and so on and see before you buy, we'll have links, God willing, for all these products down below so you can check them out. Next product for the new releases is the Safety Squat Bar by Rep Fitness. Now, Titan Fitness has a bar that looks very similar to this. And Titan, you know, kind of got their design from a very similar looking bar, the Elite FDS safety squat bar and that's kind of considered the cream of crop cream of the crop out of this style safety squat bar for the past while now i think rep has come up with some new innovations i really really like these handles um, i believe they even have knurling on it maybe you guys can comment below and verify or you know not verify that uh something i want to point out here and something i was disappointed in the titan version and if the rep version also has this, then I might also be kind of disappointed in it, even though it has really cool handles, is the angle or the drop, the degree drop right here of, of the bar. Now, why is that important? Well, safety squat bars can be used often while holding it with your hands. Now, there are very cool variations that one can do by removing their hands from the safety squat bar holding on and, you know, bracing on another bar. And basically what it means is if you're able to do this, if it's the proper angle, kind of like the Elite FTS uh, safety squat bar, that means you can go hands-free with this bar, which is awesome. Now, 
if it's not like that, it's likely that it's going to be a near-death experience, kind of like our experiences using the Titan Fitness V2 safety squat bar, which, you know, one can say, yeah, maybe we'll go hands-off, but you're also likely to be sent to the hospital. It is sketchy. We tried it. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, that's something to look out for. Guys, if you have this bar and you could test it real quick, hit us up in the comments. Let us know. Next product, the Open Trap Bar by Rep Fitness. I really like this. I think this is a very fine product. In the past, when I've been looking for trap bars to pick up, I've been very hesitant. You know, I think the open style bar just looks so much cleaner than the traditional hex bar that Titan and Rogue, you know, put out in Sorenex and so on. I think that one looks old fashioned and it isn't as versatile as this bar. This bar is so versatile. You could do lunges, you could do bench, you could do overhead press, so many different things. And these new handle variations make things even more versatile. As you can see, it changes the look of our guy, our nice model here. And Rep is even offering an option to pick up, you know, the size width that you picked here. And then also get whatever widths you want to add on and switch it up, which is cool. Especially if you have multiple lifters, different size lifters. If you're a husband and wife training in the same gym, it's, you know, might not be the same size human beings. <laughs> so these are ha coming in handy. And I know a ton of people and a ton of athletes and a ton of home gym killers have really not liked the widths on certain fixed hex bars. So this is very cool. Next product is the selectorized lat pull down in low row for the 4,000 and 5,000 PR 4,000, PR 5,000 series racks by rep and i will say this is not my favorite looking piece of equipment i actually am not a fan of how this looks but it's not just for rep a ton of companies do this sort of product and i don't like how it looks another thing since we're going and kind of roasting this piece of equipment these hooks companies you guys you have to stop making these hooks they're so ugly i mean we're paying what is it, $1,500 almost for this product after tax, for sure, $1,500. Um, and this looks like it's coming on a child's toy, like we're holding up a piece of, you know, a hockey pad set at Dick Sporting Goods. Um, yeah, sorry, not a fan. I think uh, we got to improve that a little bit. Something I will say, though, that I do like is I love the backing on this emblem. And also, I really like the fit and finish on this. I mean, it's very clean, the colors, everything. And a cool little innovation here with these band attachments on the sides by Rep. As you'll notice in the photo above, they're not visible. But down below, they are visible. Very cool, very uh, practical, I think. And something to look out for. Feel free to check it out below, guys. Next product. And what I would say is better in my opinion it's a totally different experience because if you look at this you have a low pulley and a high pulley and you only have one low pulley one high pulley and at the athena product by rep fitness you have two kind of a functional trainer setup now if i were you i would go with this setup the functional trainer over a selectorized setup one because i think the selectorized setup is kind of ugly but number two because the Athena Selectorized Side Mount Functional Trainer by Rep Fitness can also be used as a low pulley and a high pulley. By, by putting these pulley systems all the way up, what I would do is put a thigh pad right around here, slide my bench in, and attach a lap bar with a carabiner in the middle to both, to both uh, cables, and then do lap pull downs that way. Um, kind of a little workaround. And I think it's a super cool option. Something that might bother people are these cables, um, especially when adding attachments and so on to your, to your rack. Um, that's just my thoughts. And again, stunning work by Rep. I really think these products are starting to look nicer and nicer. Um, I do like how they have pounds and kilos. It's... Um, the more I travel, the more I realize that kilos are not as bad as I thought they were. They're actually very, <laughs> for example, using an Olympic bar. My gosh, using kilos is amazing. Next product, the Oxalis yoke. 
by Rep Finis. Now, this I think may even be, I think uh, this is my second favorite product that Rep is releasing. And why is that? Well, when you first look at it, my first thought would be, I would never want to buy this because of these pins, which seem good for holding weight and using them as a yoke, as we see here. Um, but imagine those pins getting in the way and all the plates and so on of trying to use it for anything else. Well, rep is getting after it and the pins are fully removable, which I think is amazing. As is the, the yoke bar is adjustable and actually can be moved down below as we see over here and it can be turned into a full squat stand, which I would recommend for most people who are not competitive strongmen to go with the 92 inch option in regards to height. And I would go with that because I think it's more versatile. Having that extra height is nicer for pull-ups or adding bands to it and so on. Um, my only gripe with that is, as you can see with our model here, you have all this extra height above you swing when you're doing yoke carries. So if you do yoke carries all the time, I would consider that. I would, I'd probably not get the 92 inch version. I'd go with the 77 inch version if you do yoke carries a ton. But those are my thoughts. Next product, the drop in dip att attachment, <laughs> the drop in dip attachment by Rep Fitness. Now I have really considered getting the normal dip attachment that Rep, Sorenex, the Rogue Matador, all these companies make. And I've never liked it. I've never been able to pull the trigger. Well, I actually did pull the trigger on the Griffin version because I had no other choice at the time. But if I could do it again, <laughs> I'd go with this and I will get this in the future, hopefully. Or, you know, Rep, if you want to send it out, we'll check it out for you guys. And uh, <laughs> Joke aside, um, that was an actual joke. But I think this is a really cool product because of the flow through design. Um, imagine if we have this product and imagine a bar is just cutting across right there. Well, that really limits your usability. But with this new product by Rep, the drop-in dip attachment, you can now do levers, gymnastics work. Imagine putting these bars all the way to the top. You can now do wide pull-ups with a different grip. You could put them all the way down for parallel work and so on. And I think it's just a fantastic product in regards to design-wise. Something I would want to check, and maybe if someone already has this, they can confirm, is I would want this... I'd really want this to be able to snap in. If we can have a little locking system, kind of like that pin, like a hitch pin safety, um, this could be a real sweet piece of equipment. When I get these, what I might even do is I might drill or cut out a hole, allowing for hitch pin to go in. And the only reason why I say that is once you get into some more uh, wild gymnastics moves and so on, um, you don't want these guys, you know, accidentally coming undone not that i think there's a huge chance but it just gives more peace of mind you know when you're getting out of your comfort zone you want to know that the equipment you're on is safe stable sturdy and you know it's like going rock climbing with a uh, <laughs> questionable rope second last product and i think this is one of the coolest ones and potentially one of my biggest regrets on gym equipment for not picking it up which is not something you hear a lot from me uh this is the AB3000 version 2 flat incline decline bench, aka a FID <laughs> adjustable weight bench. And you want to know the real reason why I didn't go with this bench, why I went with different benches, was because of this little circle here. You know, I really didn't like the look of the, the pad. And I was thinking to myself, well, all the nice benches have squarish pads, and this one has this weird circle here, so I, I can't go with it. But now in hindsight, I'm kicking myself because I realize the genius behind it and what Rep has done with this. This circle pad and these leg rollers make this bench, along with the ability for it to decline and incline into one of the best value packages, in my opinion, on the entire market. And you know, hopefully we'll be able to get our hands on it pretty soon because, yeah, not uh, not fun missing out on these cool products. Last piece of equipment, and what I think is maybe even the coolest piece, besides, of course, the oxalis yoke, 
would be the new Aries system by Rep. And we're going to do a full video on this eventually. I might even, you know, have to get it for our racks because, you know, as some of you may know, we have three Rep PR5000 racks. And I think this system is one of the most genius attachments that Rep has come up with. And why I say that is because you have the functionality of the Athena trainer. But you also have the functionality of a lat tower and so on. And, and a low poly, which is very nice. And something I want to say that Rep seems to have fixed from the beginning of this video towards the end of the video is these beautiful, beautiful hooks right here for your lap bar. It's so much better than our selectorized little Dick Sporting Goods clips that we're not a fan of. So way to go, Rep. I think this is a cool product. What I will say is in a commercial setting, you know, we are looking open. We hopefully are looking to open up a commercial gym for an underprivileged or an under uh, a community that doesn't have the access to it that I think they deserve. Um, and putting something like this in a gym like that with a lot of hands touching it, a lot of people who may not be most familiar with it, makes me kind of hesitant because there are a lot of moving parts, a lot of cables and so on. Um, so we'll have to do a full video on this eventually, full review and talk about it more. And if you guys want, feel free to check out gymreviewer.com where we have a ton more reviews, information, content. And we also, you know, if you're getting a little bit tired of YouTube, feel free to hit us up on Instagram at gym underscore reviewer, gym reviewer. And we'll have to catch you guys later on the next video. Out.